Hi, welcome back to SAP Business Subject Processing Framework series, demo series. So last session we saw how we can model the business object representation node for our product. So today we going to see how we are going to implement the association class. There are multiple way of you know, resolving your association. So now we are going to see via the you know, association class implementation. So here um, we are going to open the class. So we are model the node. There is a key of that particular instance and on that instance there is an attribute called material key which is going to store the the business object product business object uh, material number key db key from that business object will be stored on the material mass material as a material key in my item details node that's a way we are going to design it to store that information so whenever there is a material key is being stored so we should be able to resolve that information so based for that reason so based upon that assumption so always i have a material number has been entered on my item details item details node then i will have the corresponding key is been stored on the attribute material key attribute that's a way uh, that is assumption based upon that assumption i'm going to design these uh, you know in implement the this association here so what we are going to do i i so here as you see here there are a lot of different parameters are available okay uh, similar to your determination and validation and action so you have context which is going to tell you exactly what is your bo key let's save this double click on the context also your bo key and root node key, root node key and then you have a node key and the association where that what is association and what is the image of it before image or whether that is a before image association or not going back and you have it key so for which instance this association is being called and then i have i will read to read your information of the corresponding node instance parameter so you can also do model your association with the parameters so you should be able to have some additional filter if you want to have a specific add no if you have multiple instance when you are resolving to the target node on the target node if you have multiple instance you want to filter the uh, no data by some more attribute then you can use the you know, is parameters um then you have a filter attribute so what are the attributes you want to read so it's a known structure if you see it here this is similar to your attribute information and you have a exporting parameter which is called as a tfrw key link so you can just makes a difference here see that it is key link and this is key so when you open this key link it's going to have a line type of key link s line frw key link so you can see here the source and there is something called as a target so your frw key it has only key as attribute in as a table but this one has the source and target so always when you are resolving it from one to one node to another node so you have a, what is your source node what is your target node that's the way your resolution is going to so it's always be a two entity it's involved so that's the reason you will have a source key and target key so when you are populating and you are resolving this information between these two nodes so you have to populate the what is a source node for that source instance what is my target instance that's the way we have to do it so for that case you have these two attributes you need to populate when you export this information via this association resolve also you will have something called fail key so just say and then messages so which you know it already very well so what i'm going to do I'm going to uh, use the retrieve retrieve of my item node. So I will use ifret order and yes in node. If you provide these your constants interface here, which is going to um, know much easier for somebody else if you open this class in sc24 okay and what is what this you know um this class is doing it and that can be easily readable okay this is the node which they are reading and based upon this it key so which you can understand if you provide is context key so it will be quite difficult then you have to come back inside your business object to know it 
where no how this you know from which node this particular data machines comes under that is a way you know it's not it's very difficult to understand it from ac24 directly to read these classes so only inside your business object open you know if you open the business object via bobx transaction then only you should be able to see it okay yeah this particular data machine or maybe association classes validations are model on this level so and then this it context is coming on you know, then we'll having this this corresponding node information but if you, you know code it like this okay in that case it's much easier to read it okay yeah so it is going to tell you directly okay this particular association has been resolved or maybe this logic is implemented for this particular node called order item details so i don't want the before image data yes requested attributes so let's leave it and et data Okay, so I'm not sure about the table type of this one. I'll say order. Okay, so I'll declare this variable in the top data. I let's me go back to the business object and get my table type. So this is my table type and come back to my association class method resolve okay change put the type so, okay so petty pointer to align it so now my order items are available so let's orders or items are available okay yeah so to have the uh, no um I will put it in loop at LT. I'm going to go with this on the old way of writing that. Mm, uh, APP up and R insert value hash source key equal to LS order. Target key equal to order material key a okay, into table et key link. Okay, so this is a way it's going to resolve, but um, I'll say where material key is initial. Obviously, then only it's going to resolve it. Otherwise, it's, it is not going to resolve the information because your target key will be blank in that case. It's not going to resolve your instance. So save it. This is simply I'm writing it so you can have a more amount of logic to build that information. So now this has been checked and activated. So now you are. Um, the entire class to resolve your association has been implemented. Let's go back and we activated that so your business object is active. But we cannot test it because we don't have any logic in place to update this material key whenever we change the you know, material number. So when you create the new item in the order details of your business object, this key it's not been will not be updated so you have to write a logic when you enter this material number okay your product number on your order item details instance then that should determine the corresponding information from the product bo and update the key in the material key field that is we as we know we can do it via the determination part Okay, so before we do that logic, let's go on. So the same procedures when you add a, add a new attribute on the static property, I don't want the material key to be a enabled or updatable in the UI. I want that to be a read only field always.
okay so just to mark that as a read only field as a static property so this is comes under a static property determination part and the next session we see how we can add the determination to update the material key from the product business object thank you